Hello, listeners, and welcome to today's Cult News. I'm your speaker, Casey, host of the Cult Vault podcast, and yesterday I brought you a new segment on coercive control. So today we're going to look at an ongoing case of coercive control that is being tried in a court of law. Ryan Giggs is a former professional football player from Wales who played for Manchester United and the Welsh national team. In 2011, it was reported that Giggs had an affair with his brother's wife, Natasha, and that the affair had been taking place for eight years. Supposedly, Giggs had taken out a super injunction to prevent the story from being published. However, the details of the affair were eventually leaked and the story became public knowledge. The once acclaimed footballer would be in the news repeatedly over the coming years, with footballers' wives, known as WAGs, becoming a popular conversation topic for tabloids and newspapers, which has died down a lot over the recent years. For example, it was reported that Giggs had an affair with the reality TV star Imogen Thomas in 2010 and attempted again to use a super injunction to prevent this story from being published, as reported in the Daily Mail. In 2020, Giggs was arrested on suspicion of assaulting his then-girlfriend Kate Greville and her sister Emma. He was later charged with assault causing actual bodily harm against Kate Greville, as well as coercive and controlling behaviour towards her between December 2017 and November 2020. Giggs denies the charges and the case is ongoing. According to ITV News, the former footballer was charged with controlling his ex-girlfriend, beating her and her sister Emma, who claims she was elbowed by Ryan Giggs and significantly injured around her rib area. During a 2022 trial, it was heard how Giggs would drag Kate Greville whilst she was naked across the floor by her wrists and other manner of extreme aggression along with coercive and controlling behaviour and isolation which took place particularly during the pandemic lockdown. The jury of the first trial came back deadlocked, which resulted in a mistrial. A new trial date for the retrial has been set for July 31st, 2023. And when we have updates or information surrounding this case, I will be sure to let you know. That is the end of today's Cult News. Join me tomorrow for more. I'm your speaker, Casey, host of the Cult Vault podcast.